So Spurs win 6-2. Song comes off the bench. Bish bash bosh hat trick. What a game. 6-2. A game of two halves really. You had Leicester coming out of the blocks, getting a penalty. Was it a penalty? It was a bit lucky, but they got it. Scored it. Tielemans missed it the first time, but scored it the second time. Leading straight after that. Harry Kane pulls one back. Great cross, great goal. It was end-to-end -end stuff. Goals galore. Eric Dyer, what a header. Gets called up for England. Smacks that goal in. Southgate's the winners. And then Leicester in the 45th, 46th minute, whatever. Madison, great goal. He's on fire. He's Leicester's catalyst at the moment. None of them are firing. But the second half, they fell apart, as the defence usually does. Benton Core scoring an easy goal, really. They lost possession, indeed. Ward is a shit keeper. Still not replacing Smichael. Bang. Back into the lead. And then Son Aldo comes on to bag a hat-trick. Two wonder goals. And the third was just a shit keeping, but he got the goal. Got his hat-trick. Immense. Them three goals. Bish, bash, bosh. Are unbelievable. He's back after his eight goal game drought or whatever it was. Now, this means I think Rogers is in the shit. He needs to be sacked, really, doesn't he? Because he's gone so many games. Even last season, where they were finished eight, he weren't that good. I don't know what's happened, but I think he's really on the last string, the last straw, because he's not going to survive long as it stands. They've potched here on Lurker, right? There's people who can take Leicester back to where they're competing to the top four. The players have got, they just didn't invest well when. Schmeichel. It's the worst bit of business Leicester have ever done because normally you've got, like when they sell Maguire, they replace him with Fafana and these are academy players normally. There's not, Ward is just a massive drop off from Schmeichel. He was the captain of the club. His presence there, he's playing in the Champions League, he's won the league with Leicester, he's done everything with them. So that lack of presence is what's caused Leicester, I think, a major collapse at the back. Fafana's gone, there's not a centre back that's stepped up. So you had that really good season, he's dropped off after this. So we've got that main centre back who's sort of broke out Justin. I think it, it's not his fault really. He got the penalty. He's good, but he's not firing as there was last season. The only one who is looking like his old self is Madison Vardy, obviously with age, but Daka and Ianacho. Ianacho would normally step up when Vardy's not scoring. He's not doing it now. But Spurs were immense. Conte, what a response after losing to Sporting. Smashing Leicester and Son as well. Back in the big time. He'll play, I think, a lot more games though, and overall it was great for Spurs. What they have done that game was incredible. I couldn't believe it. When Son came on in 10 minutes, just banged him in. Incredible stuff. And overall, no Spurs, I think, are joint first, aren't they? Which madness. Conte has really elevated this Spurs team. Got him competitive. Son would have hated getting dropped today. But he proves at Conte why he should start in the starting eleven by bagging that hattie. I think Spurs need to get the balance right, though, because in the Champions League, obviously, they want to go for that, don't they? In the League Cup games, that's where, when you play a weaker squad, they're a bit more attacking and a bit more depth. They've got a lot more depth than they used to have with Richarlis and Kulaveski, stuff like that. They couldn't like, switch it about. Defensively, sometimes they can be really poor. Like Spurs often concede a goal, don't they? Obviously, Regulon's gone. They've got Emerson right back because Dossi's injured. He's the real sort of liability at the moment, and he's conceded a lot of goals. Leicester are just falling apart. I don't know what Brent is going to say, Brendan Rodgers' job, because he is in real mud territory. I can't see him surviving past Christmas. He's got to be a corner. Unless he does a major turner when Vardy turns into bloody Haaland at the moment, who is bagging every single goal. Honestly, he's making the Premier League look like it's the bloody Bundesliga. 11 goals, I think, in his now, or 10 goals in nine games is it something like that a goal every game pretty much he's, he's i think he hasn't scored one game as he already got an assist against bournemouth it's just ridiculous he is an absolute animal an absolute robot somebody stop him because if it's going to take like a roy Keane tackle against him to injure for someone to stop him because at the moment he's getting four goals a season he's breaking sales record and he's absolutely ruining every team he plays against even he won't even tap in against wolves brilliant goal for that but the main priority is leicester Spurs. This is the real competition at the moment. Spurs, Arsenal for City because Liverpool are playing absolutely ass. The two North London clubs are the ones challenging City. It's a bit mental. But yeah, it's been a great game. Six bloody two. Eight goals. What a game. Made up for the two games getting cancelled. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.